This is PlanetMosh.com, live at Download 2016. The heavens have opened, it's soggy again. Uh, I'm joined by Connor and Will from As Lions. How are you? Fantastic. Good. Wet as ever, but yeah, we're great, man. <laughs> you just told me just before we've gone on um, recording that you missed the rain during your set. We were very, very fortunate. It just kind of half started, like nothing too heavy, and then literally the minute we came off, it just pissed out. <laughs> <laughs> How was your set? It was a lot of fun. Yeah, we had a really great time today. Uh, crowd were awesome. Had a really good time today, man. You've done a lot of this. You've, do, you've you seem to have gone everywhere. You've done Camden Rocks last week. Yeah. yeah. You did a warm-up show at the garage. Yep. You're about to go on tour with Five Finger Death Punch Shine Down at Six yeah. in the States. <laughs> You've done the Trivium tour earlier this year. Did Woven War last year and Camden Rocks last year. Do you guys find time to relax? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I, I guess we don't really want it. We just want to yeah. be we just want to be smashing it and uh, just be getting out on the road as much as possible and. Has there been a reason why you've toured so much? Because I know you've got, we know you've, we've had two songs from you. Yep. Is there any reason as to why we've seen you touring more than potentially with more material coming out or anything like that? Yeah, we, we do have an EP in the works right now, which okay. will be out in July, hopefully. Okay, cool. Things, uh, and we are currently in the middle of finishing our album. So. Okay, so the EP will be like, I guess, the midpoint sort of thing yeah. to keep people interested in yeah. then a album. Teaser. A little little t- and then the album at some point next year, maybe? Or next year, might be early next year. We'll have to wait to see. So you guys were both in Rise to Remain, if I got that right? Uh, as well. yeah, yeah. From your point of view, because I know we didn't hear a lot about it, what if you? I know there's obviously going to be personal things there, but what actually went down? How come it all kind of changed and became as lines? What's the evolution of it all? Well, with that, it was just it was just we all evolved as people, to be honest. Um, our guitarist wanted to start up a family, and that was completely fair enough. We understood it, and we thought it had just gone for so long. We wanted to start anew. So me, Connor Austin, got together and we were like, right, let's start something new, start something fresh head down a new path, found Dave and Steph and we've been loving it ever since. Yeah, totally. What's the difference, if any? I mean, obviously it's a different band. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Like different kind. Of, I'd say, hopefully, in, at least in my mind, different genre. I mean, we kind of don't, we wouldn't compare ourselves musically really to Rise, um, but we're really loving what we're doing right now. Like, really loving it and just having a great time. Awesome. Now, I know that you guys. I know that we've got an interesting. I guess an interesting stat this weekend that we've got three Dickinsons playing over all three days. We've got Austin today, we've obviously got Griffin tomorrow with shows, and we've got Bruce headlining on the Sunday night. Now you guys, I know you see it from more an outside point of view, but because you've got kind of like this, is there a real kind of like family atmosphere amongst it? What's it like being part of like a family of music, especially with Bruce and Steve and then George being part of the Raven Age as yeah. well? What's it, what's it like? I, I, I honestly yeah. think it's fucking awesome, to be honest. Uh, everyone in, in that family is so over talented and just great people to be around. Yeah. Um, um, and it's just really cool when we're at things like this and everyone's playing together and we all get to hang out. It's kind of just, it's just awesome. Like, it's yeah, it's really supportive, really positive to be around. Like, it's like a real kind of like camaraderie, kind of like camaraderie even, like yeah. uh, feeling towards everything. And it, it's just awesome. It's great. Do you think we'll see a time when we have a complete family bill on one stage? No. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't see that personally. I mean, they, all, of, all of them do their own thing uh, separately and I think that's what they want to Really have any of like Bruce, Steve, everyone like that? Because have they got like, passed down any expertise, or have they let you all go at it yourselves and like kind of just been there in the background of support? They've pretty much just been like any other parent, really. Just oh, okay, in the background, yeah. being like, nice one, lads. That sort of thing. Nothing really on a professional level. Just being great family members. Just being a regular dad. That's really really <laughs> cool. So you've obviously got the, the the EP in the work, the album in the works. We tour. Anything else planned for the rest of 2016 and beyond, apart from the tour, obviously. Um, we're, we're just constantly always writing music and uh, I think our aim really is just to tour as much as possible and once this EP and the album's out we just want to be expanding it out to everyone and uh, hopefully people enjoy it and yeah, get on the road I want to see as many faces as possible really nice one and finally give me a number between 1 and 10 8 8 ok what have I your done? final question you are, you are given the chance to see one band perform one of their albums in full live which band and which album you go first I would say, for me, it would be Carnival and Sound the Wake. I'm a huge fan of that band and that album. That's very personal to me, so I'd love to see that. Okay, fair enough. I'd probably say Sick, Death of a Dead Day, and get Justin back just for that one show. <laughs> and just, again, there's more of a personal feel on the album to you, something that meant much to you in the past, and like that, which you just think is a really fucking good record. It's an amazing record. It's one that pumped me to be more original, so to speak, with playing guitar. It definitely kept me playing guitar when I first heard it. Nice. <laughs> awesome. Guys, thank you very much indeed. Cheers. Thank, thank you. you.